the smartphone and electronics titan has lofty expectations of itself and, luckily for Android fans, usually paves the way with some of the best Android phones money can buy. Some may criticize Samsung for its design choices or One UI's occasional heavy-handedness, but these quibbles usually range from unwarranted to wildly inaccurate. With such a wide range to choose from, you're bound to find something that fits your expectations and your budget. Here we are going to review the top 5 best Samsung phones available right now. Our recommendation number 1. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra Cell Phone. Samsung isn't scoring any points for an exciting upgrade this year, but that doesn't mean the Galaxy S23 Ultra isn't an incredible phone. It takes everything we liked about last year's device and makes it better, or, at the very least, keeps the experience surprisingly consistent. A slightly refined design means the curved display is now flatter than ever, though, the company could just, you know, make it flat, while the squared off frame fits better in the palm of your hand. It's a small design change, but an appreciated one nonetheless. While S22 Ultra owners might find the look and feel pretty familiar, and, ultimately, not worth an upgrade, it's still some of the best Android hardware around. And that extends to the specs. Powering the S23 series, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset is impressive. Everything feels buttery smooth, from endlessly scrolling through Twitter to playing even the most demanding mobile games. And with a couple of exceptions, the chipset handles it all while keeping cool under pressure. Battery life is also exceptional. You can expect about a day and a half of runtime on a single charge. Unfortunately, charging speeds can't quite measure up. 45W isn't too slow, but you'll need a compatible PPS brick, and one isn't included in the box. Really, though, the camera is where you'll find the biggest upgrade. With a massive 200MP ISOCELL HP2 sensor, the images this thing is capable of can blow your socks off. It struggles with motion and shutter lag, but all four lenses can score phenomenal photos and videos. All that, and we didn't even mention the S Pen. Truly, this is a powerhouse of a device. You'll have to shell out a pretty penny for it, but we doubt you'll regret picking one up. S-Series has a legacy of pushing the boundaries of what a smartphone can do. And with Galaxy S23 Ultra, we're raising that bar again. Galaxy S23 Ultra is more than the next big step in mobile tech. With the highest camera resolution on a phone and stunning night mode powered by nightography, you can share those big moments no matter the lighting. Plus, with the fastest Snapdragon processor yet, juggle high-intensity games, multiple apps or video calls with ease. Write, sketch, edit, create and share from anywhere with a built-in S Pen. And do all of the above on an incredibly large display built for gaming, streaming, creating and doing. Enhance your day-to-day -day with a device that's anything but ordinary and share the epic with Galaxy S23 Ultra. Our recommendation number 2. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 Cell Phone. Samsung won't win any awards for innovation with the Galaxy Z Fold 5, but if you're looking for a reliable foldable, this is the one to buy. This year's device takes everything we liked in last year's model and upgrades it with a thinner, lighter chassis, bringing it closer than ever to the size of a standard phablet. If you thought the Galaxy S23 Ultra was an incremental upgrade, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 makes it look like a revolution. While Samsung's Note replacement came packed with new camera tech and a meaningfully refreshed processor, the Z Fold 5 only makes a couple small leaps ahead of its own predecessor. The result is something that won't, or shouldn't convince Z Fold 4 or even Z Fold 3 owners to pull the trigger on an upgrade, but could swing newcomers to finally pick up a foldable. The big difference this generation is the elimination of the gap between the two halves of Samsung's display. Our recommendation number 3. Samsung Galaxy S23 Cell Phone. These days, there's no such thing as a truly small flagship. The last one we had was the Galaxy S10e, RIP, you tiny angel, but the Galaxy S23 is as close to one as you can get today. 
featuring the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, admittedly with slightly less RAM, a screen that's just as bright, but more reasonably sized, and new camera design. This 6.1-inch phone is sensible and reliable. While its big brothers might steal the spotlight, the Galaxy S23 is just as powerful and packs 95% of the same features, costing hundreds less than the S23 Plus and Ultra. It's also free with trade-in at all three major carriers, which is how I got my lovely little Lavender S23. After years of preferring smaller phones, you get used to needing to top off your battery early. Our recommendation number 4. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 Cell Phone. You can keep your folding tablets, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 is a foldable phone that's a reasonable price, a captivating size, and super fun once you get a good case on it. This phone will fit into any pocket you own, including the front pocket of your shirt, and is more useful than ever thanks to a larger external display that can even run a few full apps. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 JS Samsung's more affordable foldable phone though you'd never call it cheap. Unlike the Fold 5, it has had a bit of an overhaul this year. Our recommendation number 5. Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G cell phone. We may be up to the Galaxy S23 these days, but the S21 FE offers a fair value if you can't quite bring yourself up to full flagship price. You still get a large 120Hz screen, decent cameras, great battery life, and the flagship features you deserve, like fast wireless charging. Samsung skipped the FE series for the Galaxy S22, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is still a pretty decent phone one year later.